This is the plaintiff, Nicole Shriskanda. She says the defendant, her father, opened up a bank account for her to deposit government grants she received for college. And her sneaky, untrustworthy father stole her money. That's right. Her own father transferred the entire $4,290 into his own bank account. He refuses to take her calls, and father or no father, she's suing him for the $4,290 she's owed. This is the defendant, Siva Shriskanda. He says the plaintiff's a bit of a wild child who wants to party all night long. And she started taking the grant money out of the account to have fun and go on a vacation with her boyfriend. Bottom line, he gave the plaintiff money for school out of his own account. And this money he took was payback for the money he laid out. End of story. He's accused of stealing from a daughter. All parties, please just right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Nicole Shriskanda, you are suing your father, Siva Shriskanda. Did I get it? Yes, sir. Okay. For $4,290 that was in your joint account that had come from government grants uh, because you're a college student? Yes, Your Honor. To help you pay for living expenses and that he will not return to you. Tell me what happened. Um, so I've been getting financial aid for four years. I'm a senior now. And um, the checks would be mailed out to his house. In um, your name? Um, yes. Um, he would deposit the checks in my account. and um, he Who puts, created the account? He did, but I wasn't there when he created the account. Or were you a signer on the account? Um, I was a minor at the time. So he would deposit that he put some checks in my savings and he would give me money in my checkings. He gave me a debit card. So he gave me $700 for my books and I would use that and I wouldn't touch the savings. Um, so the fall and the spring term ended and then the fall of 2015 came and... Were you living with him? No. Where were, where, who were you living with? I was living with my mom. Okay. He would deposit them. This is an account that you opened when she was a minor? Yes. Is it a joint account? Is uh, yeah, joint account, yes. Okay. There's no dispute that there's $4,290 in grant money, right? Yes, Your Honor. I'm looking at you and you're yeah. not answering, but she's answering. I don't know who she is, but she's not a he. All right. <laughs> okay. Who is she? She's my wife. Okay. And who are they? Um, this is my sister and my boyfriend. Okay. And um, the, the resemblance is very obvious. Are, is that your father also? Yes. Okay. All right. So that money came in in what year? 2014, October of 2014, and then I had one in spring um, 2015. Okay, and it's not touched in all this time? Yeah, it wasn't touched. And so what happens? Um, one day I just looked in my account and I see it was transferred over. So Transferred over where? To, I, I'd assume it's his account. I don't, I don't know the okay. last I need four. all of your bank records. Do you have them? Yes. Okay, hand them over. And was there a problem between you and your father happening then? Um, no. Because there's got to be a reason your father moved the money. Is he short on cash? I did, I is don't he a thief? Know. Or is he not approving of your new boyfriend and your living situation? Um, I, I is he old-fashioned? I wasn't dating him at the time. Oh. So. Well, at the time that the money moved? Yeah. Were you dating time. somebody else? Yeah, I was dating someone okay, else. Okay, who he didn't like? Um, he only met him like once or twice, so I don't know his opinion on the guy that Were was you living him. with him? No. Okay, what's going on? The money is, I give the cash sometimes, so I don't take it, so I left in the saving account. She know, the money was sitting there almost two years. She know because of my money, that's why she didn't touch it. She knows what? It's my money. Why would it be your money? Because I gave her cash there, so I don't take it. You know. So I need to, wait, you gave her cash, you mean because she's your All daughter and you were supporting her? Yeah, it's a certain thing I give a cash, not because of school stuff, outside stuff. So I don't write it down everything. So it's more than $4,000. So I, I, she know the money was sitting in the bank. That's why she didn't touch it two years. She come in money with because she want to go to vacation with this boyfriend. Oh, and sounds like I'm right. Yeah. What, but so this, this not you, you're fabulous. I don't know if you've met yet. He's, he's going to love you. All right, but let's talk yes, about the other one. Back, it should be, she should be going yesterday. It was a 17. That's why she won the money for it. To go on a vacation yes. with the... Where, Thailand? Where? Uh, Indonesia. She won't go to Indonesia. 
Does that sound familiar? That's the money she wanted. That's I... why she wanted to look for the money. And her mother... Were you and... trying to take a vacation with the money? I had already paid for my plane ticket in, in, in October. Or se September, I paid for my plane ticket. Was this ticket. to go to Indonesia with the other guy? No, this this is recent. I was supposed to go to Indonesia. With that guy? I'm just trying with, to keep up. Yeah, I was with him these past two weeks, but our our tickets got canceled because of a volcano eruption. But I wasn't, I've been asking for this money since June. And um, what I don't get is why, did, why didn't you just go to the bank and withdraw the money if you're both on the account? The, when I went in, in August, I went, this past August, I went to Like, in other words, why do you have to ask him for it in June? Because he That's... transferred it to him. And oh, I he might, okay, it. what, when did he transfer it to himself? In 2015. Oh, why did you transfer it to yourself? Because of my money. Um, and I, I get what you're saying, uh, because I'm a parent, and so as I like to tell my kids, it's all my money. When they say, well, I use my money, I'm like, no, you didn't, because you aren't working, so it's all my money. Those are my phones, so I, I need the code, because I can read them whenever I want, and I am not violating your privacy, because they're my phones. I get it. But we have a legal issue here, which is that they're grants that are, are these from the government or from banks? Um, they're federal. Either way, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're coming in her name, and they're her money. On a what is the problem, really? Because no. I don't think you're trying on to steal her. Hold on one second. Wait, wait, wait. Let's talk right. as parents. You're not trying to steal her no. money. I know that. I know that you've had a good relationship. I'm sorry that it's gotten to this, but, you know, she has a, this is a lot of money, and she has a very definitive feeling that it's not fair for you to take it. Um, and you have a very definitive feeling that it's your money because... I don't think it's really because you plan on keeping it, because you gave her, because I've supported you, so I've given you more than this, so it's my money now, and I'm keeping it. I don't think that's what's going on. I think that in your head, you want her to use it for a worthy cause. I did, I told her that too, because you gotta see it. I'm not her biological father. Wait a minute, you're not so, even her biological father? No, I'm her dad, 16 years. She don't know who's the father. I took her out of 16 years. I didn't take, Wait, I Wait, back up. She, does she know that, or is she yeah, being she shocked? Yeah, she Her mother okay. trying to hurt me and told her. I told her mother, don't tell her that. When she's 16, her mother trying to hurt me and told her the truth. 16 years, I took care of her. I didn't collect no welfare, no food stamps. Did, no you, know, did you know? Yeah, I know. Oh, from the beginning you knew? Yes. Okay. And I told her mother, and you, until you die, don't tell her that. I'm right. not a father. She tried to hurt me, she told it. So 16 years, I took care of her. No welfare, no food I hear stamp, everything no, you're saying. I so, understand. Yeah, so why what do you is, think I, I Now I have a question for you. I need you to listen. Why do you think I want to steal that 4,000 miles? Right, I don't think you want to steal yeah. it. I think you what? Finish that sentence. What do you want me to believe that what is it you want to have happen with the money? No, you I, tell me as a father yes. what it is you want to have happen with that money. No. You want to see her use it on something better than a trip with a boyfriend. Yeah, I, that's not my money, but I told her, if you do good in school, I will buy you a car. That told her. But that's I, my money. See, I already gave her money back. I know I don't have proof, but I already gave her. But she wanted to use it with the boyfriend going to... This is the third boyfriend. She had one boyfriend. She broke the boyfriend. Oh, my God, she's only 21. I hope yeah. she has 50 others before no, she settles. Other one, she broke the, the boyfriend she break up. He broke the uh, laptop, and she had to get the money for the new laptop. So this one, they want to go. That's on my her mother, and then they, her sister told me, you know, she's going to take your money in the bank to go to the vacation. That's why I transfer the money. Sister, come on up. Did that little gem happen? Did you accidentally leak what your sister's vacation plans were and cause the, you know, by Did accident? Did I? No. Did you hear um, what he just said? No. He just said the sister told me that she was planning on going on vacation with this money. No, I think he actually knew about the vacation before I did. And the vacation is, was January supposed to be, and this money has been two years. And from what he told me is that when he had took the money, he said that he was saving it for when she's ready to get a car. Wait, I'm kind of, who's older? Me. <laughs> Oh, I have I'm 23. One. Wait. I have another one. She's in a law school. Okay, I'm Wait, hold, hold on, hold on. Everybody just stop, because I just want to understand I have three things. girls. What? I have three girls. Okay. Hold on a second. The older one is in the law school. Fabulous. Now I need to, these two are gorgeous. I imagine the other one Thank is you. just as stunning. Now I need you to, to listen to my question, because I'm lost. The, is the older one the same mother? Yes. So when you met her, she had three kids? No, she didn't have a kid. That's both of my kids. The third one, she was cheating on me, and she, that's why she had her. 
Okay. She slept with a drug dealer to buy a drug. That's why she had that one. Okay, honey. All right. All right. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, if your dad stole money from you, would you sue him? It'd be hard for me to sue my dad. <laughs> <laughs> How do I argue with this kid? What do you say? Um, yes, I would definitely sue my dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, because that's my money. I work hard for my money, and um, I Fair don't enough. think it's right. What do you say? You're going to be the tiebreaker. I'm going to say, yeah, I would sue my father if, if he stole money from me. Yeah. Screw you, Dad! <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. These are not new facts to you, though, right? This is. Um, it was. I never took a paternity test. It was never proven. I didn't want to. D it, right, because it's, in your mind, who is your father? This, this is my father. And in your mind, is she your daughter? Yeah. Okay, so... Let's just leave it at that. Because um, it takes a lot more to be a father than to deposit sperm. I think we all know that. All right. Let me, let me just tell you, I, I, um, I understand your, your position as a parent. And I think that my 21-year-old, um, I wouldn't trust her with $4,000. I just wouldn't, because she's 21 and she's, you know, she's 21. However, the law does, and the law finds her to be a complete adult, and the grants come under her name, and as much as you may want to protect her at some point, you're out. And you hope that you did all the right stuff, you know, while the tree branch was growing to get the tree branch to grow in the right directions, but you don't get to keep holding the branch once it starts sprouting into, into adulthood. Um, and it doesn't matter that, oh, but I supported her all this time. And so, and I give her money for the laptop or I give her money here, but I don't keep track of that. So that's, that's not gonna work. I'm ordering you to reimburse the plaintiff the amount that was moved into your account. She's an adult, and she's entitled to the government grants that were given to her um, for living expenses during her college years. $4,290, verdict for the plaintiff. Now, let me say something. I have a lot of broken families in this courtroom, OK? I don't think this is one of them. I don't. And I really, really hope that even though you found yourselves in court, that you find it in your heart to forgive her because she's right and I'm ruling in her favor, and you find it in your heart to forgive him not letting you have the money because it was born of love for you and of excessive control, but also, um, also, you know, some misguided sense of directing where you go, okay, at your age, which shouldn't happen, okay? All right, good luck, folks. Thank you. So the judge orders the father to give back the $4,290. I, I'm intrigued what you, how you feel about the judge's decision. What are you thinking? Uh, it's okay. It's my daughter, you know. I hope she will learn. And when she realized this, I will be dead, you know. She you know, did the wrong thing. What didn't come out court. is your relationship with her. She lives with, they live with the mother, right? I had a full custody. You had full custody? Full custody. I spent a lot of money just to get the custody of all three of them. Then they left and when she was, uh, 2016, she left. 12, sorry, 12, when she was 16 years old. When she was 16. 16. I still had a custody, but they don't want to listen to my rules, so they left with the mother. But w w how would you describe your relationship with your daughters? After this, I don't know. My or, or before this? Before I mean, this, you know, I never thought she was going to bring me to court. Well, I'm I was a father for 16 at that, right? years. I did everything she needed. Yeah. You know, now she, maybe the boyfriend or whatever. So, so you see them or talk to them much? From now on, I don't care. You know, it's up to now, up you to haven't gotten out. No. Right. So what's this, how do you think this is going to affect your relationship with these two young ladies out here? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Well, it's a sad situation. I hope you work it out with them and they work it out with you, you know? Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now here comes Nicole with her sister. Uh, you, you heard your dad. I mean, I, it's just a tough situation. But was it hard for you to file a lawsuit against him in court, bring him to court? Um, no, because it really? was honestly just a whole bunch of lies. Um, 
I wasn't living with him for 16 years. For the first five years, me and my sisters were with my grandmother going through the divorce. Um, he's hit us countless times and he never, he never paid for, like he paid for the house we lived in, but that was really about it. And I even offered two, two to three weeks ago to drop the case completely and he said, no, you're a low life, you sue your own father. So like everything he said in there was a lie. My vacation was already paid for in September. My Airbnb was already booked. I had to re get refunds for everything. So I just don't understand why we're making up stories, but family is just a label at the no, end of the day. That's a tragic situation, really. So I gather that you you really don't have much of a relationship with them at all at this point, do you? No, not really. Well, I'm so sorry, but at least <laughs> you're going to get this money back now. You take care of it, okay? Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sad, 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 sad. Harvey? Okay, Doug, it is a sad case. Look, even if even if she owes him money, he is not allowed to go into her account and take government money that's earmarked for college. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.